Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was hey, hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, Tiger Lily Squad, King King. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? It's your girl. It's me and Trish. Trish and I. Essence of J. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, y'all. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the three top myths that I've ever heard about starting your locks. So let's just get right into it. So the first biggest myth that I've heard with starter locks is that they're not versatile. So they're just gonna have to stay in this and you can't do nothing with it. Lies. Because you can do head wraps, you can wear a hat, you can use bobby pins, you can loosely twist them or like braid them up like half up, half down. It's pure lies. Don't let these people tell you that you just gonna look like who shot John all the days of your life because they lying. <laughs> um, number two is that you need to start your locks on like these healthy luscious like your hair has to be at the top of the health in order for you to start your locks and with that being said is that you have to have specific type of hair to start locks all of this goes together and it is not true i know some people who have perm at like the tips of their hair and they started their locks i mean of course there'll be times where like if your hair is fully permed you probably want to grow that out as much as you can before you start it but i don't feel like your hair needs to be at the healthiest that's just my opinion i don't think it needs to be on the healthiest side for you to start locks no um another myth and i might get some flack about this but you do not need a loctician to start your locks or i'll say it like this you do not need a loctician or somebody else to make sure that your locks come out looking good there are a lot of people out here that are telling people that you need somebody to start your locks for your lock journey or your locks to be good. And that is super false. This is the second time that I've started my locks on my own. The first time I started my locks on my own. And even though I went to a loctician probably like a year into my lock journey and she did the whole shaving of my locks thing, my locks still came out pretty dope. So, mm, a lot of times we gotta just take what resonates with us and leave the rest. Cause a lot of times we take these tips as Bible and they are really not. People are just talking um, for things that usually, I would assume worked for them or shade but, shade, but no shade. They probably Googled and just decided they want to do a video and spew out information that is really not true. But yeah, these are my top three tips, I mean three myths that I've heard so far with starter locks. If you have heard of any that I haven't talked about, leave in the comment box below. I wish we had more videos and people were more authentic and more real um and if they didn't know something they would just say i just don't know instead of just giving people wrong information because just that's just not right you know what i'm saying so yeah this is just if, if you needed a sign to just start your locks without all the extraness this is your sign so i see you later tiger lilies don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you later uh, crash course let me have the money in the dashboard
Max Mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with